What's up, Metalheads? Lord Metalblade here, and welcome to Purgatory. Now, this is an RPG horror game, and I've played it quite a few if you've been tuning into some of my live streams. This was recommended to me by the Faulty Lamp, my Discord server mod. He sent this to me, so I decided to give this a try, and already things are not looking too good. We got a girl here with bloodshot eyes. Immediately, she reminds me of another red eyed woman. But hopefully, the crazy Yandir will not make herself known in this game. And already the menu here says fall, load, or quit. So we're just going to go to fall. So I guess that means to start the game. And uh, yep, I'm over on the right side now. This game contains scenes of graphic violence and gore. Oh boy, I love graphic violence and gore. Yeah, so I was really excited to see what this game had to offer. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Author. Nama? Nama? And I apologize if you see the uh, menu up on the top here. I was trying to get everything set up to where nothing was really out of the way. Oh, okay, let's continue. All right, Nama, let's see what you got. Oh. Oh, dear me. Oh. Oh, I take it that's me. Uh. Can I get up? What the? I just hit the enter key and I'm undulating. Oh, <clears throat> is that the same girl from the title screen? And she looks pretty, like, shocked. What happened to her? And she's got blood all over her, her clothes are torn. I don't know. And I'm not sure if this is the same, made by the same people who've made uh, Mother and the Child, but already the graphics look pretty good. Looks interesting, but I'm not too fond of that blood. Alright. She's trying to move by the looks of it. Yep, she's looking where she is. This is some saw shit right here. Ugh. Where am I? I seen. Can I? Oh. Okay, so arrow keys to move. Okay. Oh, it's a maze of dead body parts. Great. Let's see a sign. What does it say? Processing plant number two. Okay, so we got to find a way out of this place, and we can't force our way through. Looks like there's a doorway here. Uh, do nothing. Open the door. Oh, God. Decisions. I hate making decisions. Let's open the door. Oh. Now, I want to see something here. Does... Is there a pause menu? There is. So, save. Okay, so it looks like we might be in here for a while. Okay, so... Oh, an arrow. There are instructions written here. Okay, so this is how to play the game. Okay, here we go. How to play Z key, enter key, spacebar, confirms, decides on a choice, or advances conversation. Okay, so I'm just going to stay with the enter key. X, escape, backspace, cancels, or brings up menu. So I'm going to be doing, um, might be doing the X key. Arrow keys, of course, to move. F4, change window size. F12 to reset the game. So I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to reset the game. So I'm not sure if this is going to be in one take. Or I'm going to have to make multiple parts, so... Oh, God, I move fast. Ugh. A rusted wire mesh grate is blocking your path. However, the rust has a weak, is has weakened enough that a solid blow with a sturdy object could dislodge it. Oh, I slowly back away. Okay, so now I have to find something to... Oh, holy cow, I... Wait, I move freaking fast. Wait. Yeah, I move fast. But then once I'm on the blood, I just... I just strut my stuff. I really want to know, who is this chick, what's her name, and why am I here? Has she something to do with this? I, something tells me, can I pass through this blood? A stream of blood flowing from above. Okay, hold on, I see something over there. Let's go, let's go see what it is. Can I run? Nope, I can't run. Uh, what's this? Pull out a bone from the corpse. So I think I'm going to use this bone, and I'm going to go break that rusty part of the stairs obtained a human bone all right let's go uh back to that place i'm looking all around because i don't know when jump scares are going to happen yeah i've been streaming a lot of rpg horror games and they've been really good so far the child has been my favorite all right let's go uh 
Okay. Human used. Oh, okay. I didn't have to bolt the menu. Uh, snap, snap, crack. The bolt handling the rusted wire mesh. Great. In place, shattered. Okay. The human bone broke. Well, yeah, that's gonna. All right. So I take it. I'm on the upper level to where that blood seems to be have fallen. What's this? Can I pick this up? Secret code. Tur house. Tur house. Okay. I gotta keep that remembered. All right, let's progress. Oh, God, look. It's impossible to tell if the mutilated remains were once human or not. Something tells me they may not be human. So let's... Oh, what's this say? West processing plant number two. So am I in a slaughterhouse? I don't know, but there's a button here. Let's press it. Click. Keys. It seems that two keys are required to unlock the shutters. Uh, are these stairs? Something on un some industrial shutters are blocking your path. Okay, so no, I need keys to unlock this area. What do you have to say? East. Okay, this is basically like ma mapping out all the places. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way. Oh, the sound, the squishy squishing of me stepping on the blood. Okay. Is this a blocked path? Oh, no. God, what caused this? A, a wall of flesh is blocking your path. Oh, God. This is some straight Cannibal Corpse stuff now. I know I talked about that in my Outlast stream, but seriously, all this blood and guts. Okay, so let's go down. Oh, God. Narrow hallways with blood that doesn't lead to good... What the... I'm back where I started. There's something at your feet. Obtained Viridian Key. Oh, what about this body? Okay, so this woman hasn't said a word yet. So, oh wait, what's this here? Oh, I have to check these bodies. Or what is left of them? Okay. Let's see. Come on. Oh. What the heck? Did something fall? Hold on. Did something fall? I'm trying to figure out something here. I didn't even see that. Let me check the rest of these remains. The corpse is tightly grasping onto something. Obtained cleaver. Oh, she looks different. Oh god, she looks sick. Let's uh let's save. Cause I don't want anything bad happening. But I know the bad stuff will happen very soon. So I'm gonna go now do I need both keys to unlock like to put in or can I just put this in right now? That way I have a key in hand yeah one thing about these RPG horror games is that uh used Viridian key zero oh that's a key no one thing about um RPG horror games is I like or just games in general I explore so this g takes me back to the beginning we slide yeah this girl has nothing to say yet well I mean I don't think she would have the right words right away but like no I don't even know if it, what this girl's name is or how she got into this place is this a continuation of of um project cat is this the purgatory that she's in now because if you if you guys were tuning in to the project cat stream um cat got sent to a paranormal world and is trapped there so is this the continuation of Cat's story. Okay, so... Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna be wandering around it. Wait, is there... Can I go this way? No, I cannot. What about this way? Nope, that's a wall. I really don't want to just be... Wandering around for no reason at all. So let's go ahead and jump up here. Nope, I need a key. Something tells me they're gonna be in the area with the dead bodies. So this is, yeah, this leads to the wall of flesh. Oh, I can use the cleaver here. Ha, 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 ha. Your wall of flesh is nothing against my cleaver. Did the cleaver break? I don't know, but let's save. I'm gonna be saving a lot throughout this game. Something tells me I may need to go up and I might be falling down that area. What does this say? Processing plant number one. I feel like this is a slaughterhouse. What the? What was that? 
That wasn't a good sound. How come you're not saying anything? I don't know, but there's something inside their hand. However, you can't pry it free. Hack it open with a cleaver. Ugh. Snip, snap, crack, crackle. Hey, I obtained another key. Now watch. Hold on, let me save because I know something might bad happen. Now watch as I go back to put this key in. Something terrible happens. It usually does in these games. No? Nothing? Okay. You had your chance. So now I obtained another key. I'm going to go put this in. Here we go. Put it in. Yay, two keys. And that unlocks my path. That way this horrible journey can continue. And I don't mean, not mean horrible as in this game is horrible. It looks interesting. I really want to know. How did this girl get here? What's this place? Because look. So I don't know if that's blood because of, you know, entering the place and she just fell in the blood or she entered looking like that. And what is she looking at? I have no idea. Let's find out. Oh, okay. I'm just going to continue. And I'm going to save. Saving. All right. Here we go. May not. What the? Okay. Enri or Enri? That's her name. She looks completely different. No blood. No torn up clothes. Okay, so this might be a flashback? I don't know. Girl's voice. Oh. This girl doesn't say anything. Is she a mute? Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, she, okay, she bows. Okay, so this is Emma. Look at your bright green eyes. Hey, hey, I have something I want to ask you, Henry. Are you free right now? Like, you have no plans and all that? I wonder why she's not saying anything. That's really interesting. You see, I'm totally swamped with tons of things to get done. So, as my best friend, could you be an absolute doll for me and deliver these teaching materials to Mrs. Palaya? In the teacher's lounge? Seriously, they are just way too heavy for my delicate self to carry. Oh, come on. You can't carry a few papers. Come on, Emma. But we're going to be the best friend that we are, and we're going to help our good friend, Emma. That's why I have no choice but to ask you for help. Or ask for your help, since you're so reliable. Obtained an unbelievably huge burden. <laughs> that is funny. You're a lifesaver, Henry. I mean it. Okay, she looks sick. Oh, okay, so this was a flashback. Did those papers send us to this dimension? Oh, yeah, we're back to being looking a complete mess. All right, so let's save. All right, let's continue on our way. A door. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, okay. We've stumbled onto something horribly massive here. Bodies! Let's check them! It's impossible to tell if they Okay, so it's the same message as it was before. Okay. We're definitely in some sort of chop shop. Did I... I obtained an axe! Heck yeah! That's so metal. Countless numbers of iron poles are... Protruding out of the corpse's body. Oh my god, even... Even in pixels, this is terrifying. And gruesome. What about this? The body has been dismembered. What gave you that impression, Enri? I don't know if it's... Is it Enri or Enri? I'm gonna say Enri. The head has been severed from the neck. Oh, God. I just played a horrible, gruesome game. And now we're in another one. These are heads? Three heads are lined up in a on a dissection table. Q brutal death metal song here. The head has been skewered. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna save just in case I come across anything and I don't want to read. Um, all right, so we are at a checkpoint here. Or not a checkpoint, we are at an intersection. We can go into this room, we can go up the hall to the left, or up the hall to the right, or we can go forward. Let's go inside the first room. And we have a key that I probably can't... Yep, the door is locked. Good for me. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Wait a minute. First, I'm going to read this note. The secret code is the BL. So I have two codes now. 
Okay. Oh, this is leading to that one door, I think. The door is locked. Oh, I can't unlock it. It can't be like that. <laughs> Excuse me. What was that? I don't know if that was ambient music or if that was sound effects. Okay, let's... Oh, God, this blood is leading to somewhere. Let's save before we continue. Is that a laser? Oh, my God. Game over. Oh, my God. The first death. But that was my own fault. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was curious. I didn't know. It looked like a laser. All right. Let's, uh... But anyway, I'm actually all out of time for this part. I'm definitely going to be getting this in another episode. It looks interesting. I like it so far. I really want to know, why is Enri in this place? What caused her to be transported to this? It says purgatory, so it's probably her own purgatory or something. But why is it of a slaughterhouse of all things? Is that what, that's what the place looks like? And why is her why are her eyes like that? She's covered in blood. Something must have happened. So maybe in the next episode we're gonna get into some backstory with Enri here. So I don't know if it's Enri or Enri. Let me know in the ch comments below. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Lord Metalblade, and I will see you guys in the next video.